Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Styles. Here's the scenario. You have a document that is unformatted and you need to add styles to certain text. Watch this video to learn how to do this. When you first open up a Word document, even if it's a blank document, you will have some styles associated to it. In this area on the Home tab is the Styles group. And in the Styles group is the Style Gallery. The gallery is populated with some styles that you can change later. In the lower right of the Styles group is an arrow. Click on it and the Styles dialog box will be displayed. The dialog box will display all the styles that are currently in your document. If you need a greater variety of styles, click the Options button. And in the Style Paint Options dialog box, click the down arrow in Select Styles to Show and select All Styles and say OK. Now you have many more styles displayed in the Styles dialog box. When you start typing, there will be a style associated with this text. To find out what style is associated with this text, go over to the Styles dialog box and slowly drag the vertical bar down until you see a style that is surrounded by a box. And as you can see, the style that I typed is a normal style. If I wanted to change this text to something else, I would highlight it and I would select another style. Now this text is body text. Another way to identify what style the text is currently displaying, go to the View tab and in the Views group, click Draft. This is the style area pane. Currently you can see that this text has the body text style to it. If you don't have your style area pane displayed, go to File, Options, and in the Advanced group, scroll down to Style Area Pane Width in Draft and Outline view. My display is set at one and a half inches. You can change this number by just highlighting it and typing in a number and say OK. Let's go back to the Home tab. And I want to show you some more options for the Style Gallery. To modify a style in the Style Gallery, just click on it, right click, and select Modify. You can change many characteristics in this dialog box. In this area, you can change the style, the size. You can make it bold italic or underline, and you can also change the color. If you click on the Format button, there are many more options. Click on Font, and you have many more characteristics to choose from. Click on Paragraph, and you can change the spacing before and after the text. You can also change the line spacing, and many more options. If you make any changes, click OK. You can also find a Modify Styles dialog box on any style in the dialog box. Just hover over the style and click the down arrow and select Modify. You can also add this style to the Style Gallery by clicking on this option. If you want to remove a style from the Style Gallery, select the style, right click, and select Remove from Style Gallery. Do this for each one you want to remove. You can also create a customized style. If I had a text style that I needed to repeat often, such as text with bold, underlined, and in the body text style, I would highlight it, click on this down arrow, and click Create a Style. Then I would give this style a name. Now the style is displayed in the Style Gallery. So anytime you want to apply a certain style to text, just click on the style and start typing. And that style will be applied to the text. I'm going to open another document. And in this document, I'm going to apply some styles. 
to text that is already available. In the line above the figure, I want to give it a figure caption style. So now I will go to the References tab, and in the Captions group, I'll click Insert Caption. Now the Captions dialog box is displayed. There are several fields in this dialog box. Since I want a figure label, I'm going to select Figure, and then I'm going to click OK. To add a little more formatting to it, I'm going to add a colon and a tab. Now I want my cursor on the text, the first American flag, because I want to make it a heading one. So in the styles dialog box, I click heading one here. And the heading one styles will be applied to that text. Now scroll down to the flag act and I want to apply heading two. Now if I want to view the style pane, I'll go to view draft and now I can see that heading one has been applied to the first American flag. The caption style has been applied to the figure and heading two has been applied to the flag act. While we covered the basics of styles, there are many more options you can explore. For now, this is the end of this lesson, styles.